What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do the Kamehameha effect in Vegas Pro 14. Okay, so hopefully I pronounced it right and as you can see I have Vegas Pro 14 open. Now this is the raw video you saw at the start so if I play this through it's just me acting out as if I had the ball in my hand and then I come up to the top and shoot like so. Now I'm going to be showing you two ways, one which is just a green screen which is super simple to do and another way which requires a bit more effort but it might look better to some people. And the first way I'm going to be showing you is without the green screen. So the first thing I'm going to do is right click and insert another video track and then we need to head over to media generators. If you don't see it then simply come to view, windows layout and select default layout. So from media generators come all the way down until you see solid color. Now pick a color you like, any color from here you can use. For me I'm going to go with the cyan, so I'm going to drag and drop this on and then I'm going to X out of this. Now I'm just going to move to the side and I'm going to go to the part where I actually pretend to have this ball in my hand. So I'm going to find that Pacific part right now and it's right there. So what I'm going to do is drag this blue or the cyan back. We're going to come over to the mask and now what I'm going to do is simply mask. So coming over to the mask tool, coming over to the circle or oval tool, I'm going to hold shift and drag out a circle. If you hold shift it will keep in proportion and it will give you a good circle. And of course you can make it bigger like so. So I'm going to come over to the normal edit tool and just position this into place like so. Now what we're going to do is key or uh, frame by frame we're going to position this in the correct place. So make sure sync cursor is checked and then I recommend using these arrows over here. As you can see each time you move you need to move it into place as well. So I'm going to speed all this up because it can take some time. So as you can see I have just gone through the frames and this is what I have so I'm going to play it through. As you'll see it's going to be following my hands the entire time and it's that simple to create and then it's just going to stay there at the end. Now the next thing we need to do so from this last keyframe when we make this position we actually need to come back a few frames to the find the part where we are in position like that. So right here is where I get in that position. So what I'm actually going to do is delete this keyframe and drag this one back. Now we're going to use the pen tool. So we come up here to the anchor creation tool, left click and make a circle around the circle we've already created. Except for this time, instead of linking back up, we're going to come all the way to the end and then straight back up like so. Yes, it looks very tacky and we will fix it. So uh, I'm also going to bring this down just a little bit to make it more of a square. Uh, there we go. That's how I want it. Now I'm going to come over to position and then position this how I want it, which is like that. So we can X out of it. It looks pretty crap. So if I play this through, this is what we have. It's just a normal ball at the moment. And then when we make the effect, it gives the effects like we're shooting out, but it just stays like that. So to add some effects, we need to head over to video effects. If you don't see it, then simply come to view, windows layout and select default layout. So from video effects you want to scroll down until you see Gaussian blur. Now I recommend adding on the light blur. So we're going to drag and drop this on to the blue. As you'll see it gives that effect already. And you can X out of this. The next thing we're going to do is add on a glint. So from glint I recommend dragging and dropping sparkle. And this is what it gives us. So it looks so much more better already. So now if I play this from the beginning this is what we get. As you can see it's shining, it's got the glare on the outside and then that is the final result. And to me that looks much more better than before. Now for those that want to know how to do this with the green screen, a bit different except we're still going to use this exact same part at the start that I just showed until we get to the part where we make the movement that we're going to shoot out right there. So we're going to trim this down to there and now this is where the green screen will go. So I'm going to head over to my projects media, a link to this will be in the description. I'm going to drag and drop this onto another video track. Then I'm going to head over to video effects. I'm going to come over to chroma key right here and I'm going to drag on the default. I'm going to select the color, color picker, select the background. Then I'm going to bring up the low threshold to get rid of the tint like so. And of course we now need to flip it around because it's not in the correct position. So you'll see that's part of the green screen right here, this ball, and this will be guidance for us. So what we're going to do, I'm going to use the track motion for this. 
And all I'm going to do is make sure enable snapping is checked and I'm going to turn this the other way like so. So now you'll see it's shooting this way instead of the other way. Of course, if you are holding or you're in the position to shoot the other way, then you won't need to be moving it. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is position this right here. I'm going to uncheck snapping and I'm going to position it where my hands are. And now I'm going to drag this across like so. And this gives us guidance. So we can move this to the center of this ball here. And you'll see this is what we get. It changes like that. And now, if you want to change your color, it's very simple. You can by heading over to video effects. And then from there, I actually recommend using glow. Now, I will change it to a red. So I'll drag and drop the red on. Now, I recommend the glow percent all the way down. Same for suppression. And bring up the intensity just a bit like so. Then, bring up the glow percent just a little bit. And then change your color from here. So let's go for a cyan to match the one below. Now, that looks better for me. And I'm also going to come here back to my track motion and position this a bit bigger and closer to my hands like that. So now if I play this through, it goes from that to that. And to me, it looks so much more better. And then of course I stop there. So once I stop, I'm going to split, delete the remaining, and then I'll play this through for you one last time. And there we go. That is how we do it. Just like that. And then I stop. You can see it's a good effect. You pick which one you like. Personally, I prefer the longer way instead of a green screen. It takes more effort, but it does look better. I hope this tutorial has helped you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace. What's going on guys? Casual Savage here. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the Kamea Kamea effect. What's going on guys? Casual Savage here and in this video I'm showing you how to do the Kamehameha What's going on guys? Casual Savage here and in this video I'm showing you how to do the Kamehameha effect in Sony Vega What's going on guys? Casual Savage here and in this video I'm showing you how to do the Kamehameha What's going on guys? Casual Savage here and in this video I'm showing you how to do the Kamehameha <laughs>